Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. I traveled to back to our uh, HQ, the Ranger HQ, and as soon as I arrived, uh, I got this message from uh, from this guy. Hello, Rangers. Um, this is Gideon Reyes. I'm addressing you from Broadmoor Heights. The Patriot has made it known that you are in need of logistical support. I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. Okay. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. Okay. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. Okay. I suppose we'll do that eventually. Box. Right, let's. So. Ah, uh, I'm Austin. Ah. Welcome aboard. Where yeah. are you from? Oh, around. Yeah. Me too. We, we all are here. Who's Private Kerr there? Okay, let's talk to Austin. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um, permission to speak? Permission granted. Recruit. I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I wouldn't be here. And, and I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's I'm all sure I wanted are. to say. Thanks. Oh, and, uh, Mom thanks you, too. Okay. Who are you, Private Kerr? Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece. But it's gotta be done. What Valor kid? What Valor kid? I don't remember a Valor kid. Let me know if you remember a Valor kid. Alright, so, I feel like... Maybe we missed some stuff. I, I think uh, here in the Ranger HQ, I think there was some locked areas that we couldn't get because we didn't have high enough lock pick and stuff, uh, which I think we do now. There, What's so, the you telling you? Yeah, wish I could say it was the same old petty crimes and barroom brawls, but it's not. How so? People are on edge these days. They hear how the patriarch's sick, how his kids are crazy, and they're worried about the future. They can sense Colorado crumbling, and that starts them feeling every man for himself again. We gotta pull it back, Serge. We gotta turn the horses. That's what we're here to do, Marcelo. That's what all of this is all about. Keep it up. Hmm. Thanks. I just hope it's enough. Okay, so we have Corporal Marcelo Gonzalez. What's that? Radio static. Okay. He has a lot of gear there. Gonzalez seems at home behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. Okay. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Oh, cool. Um, tell us about your radio equipment. The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? Sounds reassuring. This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands. Up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. Oh, cool. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. Cool. Uh, what do you think about the I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No, but it's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. Uh, how do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, 
Great. Protect and serve, and right? Uncertain. Okay. Things had grown stale with the marshals. It felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a ranger now. Okay. You can tell us again what it is you do know we know what you do. Anytime. You're our communications guy. Ooh. There's one of those things I said that I felt like we missed. Old journal, a lore book, and some empty cans of Aquanet. No bad hair, just bad air. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at these. Okay, so we have some orders from command here. Oh, okay. Instructions to Major Vera Prasad. Hey, take command of a con of convoy designated to November and cross the Rocky Mountains to the city of Colorado Springs. Make con contact with Sol Buchanan, aka the Patriarch. B. Establish a base of operations. Recruit and train additional personnel. C. Preserve the life and position of the Patriarch. Uh, okay. B. Locate Angela, Angela Death and her advance team. Uh, okay. If they're dead, collect their bodies for burial. Uh, e. In the event of your death, these orders shall apply to the senior surviving member of the expedition. Okay. Uh, then we have... Uh, that's some leg armor. That's the... Skill book. Where'd the lore book go? There. Oh, man. That's a lot of reading. Okay. The pages of this journal are yellow by... It yellowed with age, and the ink has faded with time in many of the earlier entries. It appears to have belonged to someone named Ali Bleu. The last entry reads, November 30, 2059. Gabriel Reyes... Wasn't that the guy who was just on the... on the speaker thing? On, on the radio? And then Thea Wesson, I guess that's... Is that Lucia's mom, maybe? Uh, came to our compound today. There was a tense bit where Sydney shot at them, but fortunately Jordan was there and recognized them from that time over in Falcon Park. They brought some coffee and we talked over a warm drink. It was nice. Civil, pleasant even. Strange to not be at the throats of someone not in the family, but that was the whole point, I suppose. They want us to head back into the city next week to meet with a man named Salt Buchanan. They even suggested relocating to Colorado Springs. Abandon the... Uh, uh, Peterson? Imagine that. We've been safe here for years, and they want us to move out and, what, become neighbors with them and those despicable Noxes? We'll go to the meeting. They said this Buchanan fellow's very persuasive, and they promised us a tin of that coffee, so it won't be a total loss to check it out. But I'm certainly bringing my guns. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, so... Is there more stuff around? Let's have a look here. Another law book. Encyclia Encyclopedia Robotica. Okay. No, oh, something that you can lockpick. Some dollars and a Polaroid photo. Don't do anything there. I guess that's everything. Unless I missed something. I don't think I did, though. Okay. Uh, maybe something here? No. Alright, let's take out that new lore book. I'm read. Man, that's a lot of reading going on in this one. Welcome to the ninth edition of the Encyclopedia Robotica, the definitive repository of knowledge about all of Colorado's synthetic citizens. This 12-volume series will expound upon, their bo upon both the types of robots found throughout the snowy expanses and high elevations of the state, as well as their detailed histories. You'll discover exciting new facts, facts of which you were never aware. For example, whose idea was it and how drunk were they when they decided to attach giant saw blades to multi-legged robots and turn them loose on a population made almost entirely of sawable flesh? Sawdogs, page 152. Maybe. 
Also, did you know our SpiderBot page 97 was designed to operate on uneven terrain and treacherous terrain, and that their inventors only later realized giant robotic spiders looked utterly terrifying to most humans? Perhaps you're researching Colorado robots for practical purposes, such as your family's survival. If so, Encyclopedia Robotica is your ultimate guide. Never again lose a loved one to a dreaded hopper robot, pages 65 to 75. The leaping auto automatons designed to carry all manner of explosive nuisances, from gas bombs to small tactical nuclear devices. You'll learn how to prevent yourself and others from being electrocuted by shock dogs, page 484. Hint, avoid the prongs. Conversely, servitor bots can be life-saving medical assistants and are often utilized well for that purpose. However, their ability to manipulate tools means you should never give one a loaded machine gun. All this information and more awaits you as you turn to the next pages of this introductory volume. Enjoy your journey exploring the diverse and only marginally lethal world of Colorado's robots. Dr. Horvin Fitzgerald, PhD, a human doctor of robotics and definitely not a robot himself. Okay. All right. All right, so we have Sergei Gretzky here. Let's see if there's any reason to talk to him right now. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Okay, now, sounds good. What can I help you with? Uh, we may need to manage our actions. Got a moment to talk about your past. Don't really care about his I'll past, be here. to be honest. Private Copman. That kid Victory? Sounds like a bad apple. Oh, Valor. Oh. So it's the Buchanan kids they're talking about, of course. Okay, let's get in here and see if we missed something. Ah, oh, they cleaned this up nicely. Cool. Uh, so the toaster we already did. There's nothing there. I don't think there's anything in here. No. Alrighty. Let's go in here because I didn't check all the desks and stuff. Checked out some things, but not everything. So let's just grab someone. Actually, no, not you. You. Well, me, Sallow, uh, because I do the lock picking around here. Guess there's nothing over here, really. Okay. Anything up here? Don't think anything except what we already looted. Nah, there's something. I knew I missed some stuff. Energy cells, ammo, Colorado dollars, and a big glider. Okay. Looks like that. We do have someone with computer skills now, right? Ah, oh, we already checked all that out. Let's take a look over here. Whoops. Nothing really. Oh, there's a box over there that I didn't see before. Let's check that out. Creepy dolls? What the hell? You, find a, you found a creepy doll. Creepy dolls are dolls that are creepy. Hence the name, I guess. But they also grant powerful party-wide bonuses. Simply collecting will benefit you for the rest of the game. Oh, cool. Creepy dolls aren't found in your inventory. Instead, find them as well as any discovered cassette tapes and tutorials in your archive menu. Access your archive menu by selecting in the pause menu. Okay. So, Radical Rachel, creepy doll. She'd like to see the whole world burn. Afterwards, it's her own. Grants bonus to all squad members. Explosive damage bonus plus 5%. Nice. So, in the pause menu, now there's our archive. And we have the tapes that we found. We had that one creepy doll. 
And then there's some tutorial stuff. Okay. Cool, cool. Alright. Alright. I don't think there's anything else in here. We already looted those things lying around, okay. Now the question is... Do we... Let the present prisoner out? Don't worry about it. They've taken care of us so far, haven't they? Yeah, but when push comes to shove... We'll see. We'll see. Let's talk to Dull Hackett in where here. We can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? We had more time to explore the base than we have. Can we ask you about it? We think we found our your missing guy, Andy. Sorry to say he's dead. Mm, you had more fire. Sure. Did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? What did you find in the armory? Anything you can scavenge in the garage? What's in the archive room? Okay, I guess we'll ask, but Andy I think we've have. explored what He's they have. He's one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, look, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Okay. What did you find Movie in the traps, armory? mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone okay. to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Okay. Anything we can scavenge in the, in the garage? Uh, guess she'll tell us the robot thing. I my head in there and saw a giant robot next yeah. to a dead body. Hard pass. What's in the archive room? We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but okay, so we managed the to shut them in before killed. anyone got seriously hurt. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Okay, that's all for now. Careful Thanks. out there. It's an uncaring world. Yeah, it sure is. All right, let's. Are we going to release this prisoner guy, or what? <laughs> Stay sharp. Uh, sure. Ooh, lock picking. What can we get there? Leopard print handcuffs. Okay, some attorney tarts. A snack that even the end of the world couldn't kill. Pickles, you can eat them if you can get the jar open. And a locksmith command skill book. And permanently increases lock picking by one. Now that's nice. Loot all. Let's talk, talk to Hope. The warden salutes as you, as you approach, then gestures towards the pristine break. What do you think? Scrubbed up nice, huh? What can I do for you? Are the prisoners. I wanted to talk about the prisoner you found when you first got here. The one who survived by eating fungus and bugs. Hey, that seems reasonable. I know you decided to keep him locked up. And I'm not saying you were wrong. It's just... Do we know he's broken any laws? And even if he has, it seems he's been imprisoned here for years. Has he not served his time? I'm inclined to agree with you, Hope. I know... He's a little unsettling to talk to. But is that reason enough to deny him his liberty? Don't worry. I'm not going to let him out without your say-so. Just wanted to say my piece. Okay, you're right. Release him. He smiles and nods. Oh, yay! Thank, uh, thank you so much, man. I owe you big, uh, real big time. This won't be the last <laughs> time you hear from me. <laughs> that didn't sound very comforting. Uh, comforting. What, what? Comforting? Comforting. The way he said that. <laughs> All right. um, I guess there's no more in here we can do. Oh, but that lore book. Um, I think they're over here in miscellaneous. So, Sallow is our lock picker. 
So I am going to let him read that. Uh, read. Lock picking skill plus one. So now he should have higher lock picking. Yes, he does. All right, lock picking five. That's not bad. And then we have the. We have the brawler thing as well, but we don't have any brawlers right now, so I don't really want to learn it. Okay, let's check out over here. I guess Doc's over here, so maybe he can patch us up. Do have a few wounds. Don't have a garage dude yet. You've unlocked the med bay. Here you can shop for medical supplies. You can also speak to a doctor to get free healthcare, including restoring any incapacitated squad members. Nice. And there's the person who we let him heal, I guess. Hey, Rangers, I'm here at last. Good, good. Uh, it'll take a while, but I think I'll be able to make an actual surgery out of this place. Just need to call in a few favors for equipment and supplies. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. What do you need? Uh, how's that patient of yours? Fine. Everything is fine. For okay. now. Okay. Uh, we'd like to be of patched course, up. Of course. No sense in bleeding all over the place. Have a seat. All right. Do you have any medical supplies you could sell us? I brought a few things over from the garage. Ten percent discount. Not much yet, nice. but ah, oh, nice. But I don't think really think we need anything right now. We have some of those. We have some of those. We have some of those. We have some antidote, I think, somewhere. I think I bought some. Maybe we, I used it. I don't see any antidote in our inventory. Maybe we should buy some of that. Do we have any money? 130. Mm -hmm. No, let's not. I wonder how we get in here. There's. We can see that there's something down here. Something nice, it looks like. So, how do we get down here? in here. Medical crate. So we'll take that. Looting our own base. That seems a bit weird. Another medical crate. Yeah, we'll loot that too. Let's talk to Amber. This woman's head is wrapped in bandages. Her breathing is shallow but steady. Okay, so let's not talk to Amber. Then we have the armory, where we also got a person. Didn't we? Didn't we get a person for the armory? I thought we did. Uh, okay, we already looked at that. Let's take a look at the trash. Ooh, and it sells nice. Ooh, all that. Looted that. Anything else in here? Let's move over this way. It doesn't seem like it. Nope. Down here. Well, the robot has been removed. Oh, our uh, vehicle's in here. Ooh, lock picking three. We couldn't lock pick that before, could we? We definitely can now. Launch box, uh, melted capacitor, scrap, and titanium plating. It's all junk. Okay. I wonder, can we run around the side of the base? There's something over right. here as well. What did we see? 
What did we see? There's something there. Hot Wheels car. Okay. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. Can we get up here? I suppose I didn't need to get everyone up there, but never mind. Four dollars and some teeth. It's always good to have some spare, I guess. Nothing up there, okay. How do we get into underneath here? I guess we can't. Okay. We can't go around the side on this side anyway. No, oh, wait. Where does this take us? Are you sure you want to travel to Colorado? No. Okay. So that's the way to Colorado. Bednar. What's that? Snow pile. This snow drift is just the right balance of density and wetness to pack snowballs. Okay. Ah, okay, so we can pee on the snow pile. I get it. And we get some more yellow snowballs. We gather the yellow snowballs. Okay. That's to downtown uh, Colorado Springs. What do we have over here? There's a dog. I wouldn't mind... Uh, we need to get Animal Whisperer on someone, don't we? Uh, is there anything around? There's some more snowballs. Let's not gather them right now. Having... What? I think we have eight. Key balls now. I think that's more than enough. Alright. Uh, cyborg chicken. Okay. Seems useless. What do you do? Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you, a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Okay. Clock. Private noise. Oh, we saw something here. That Valor kid doesn't sound much more stable than his brother. Ooh, nice. Uh, where is it? Yeah, weapon mod. Choke. Wow. Ah, uh, I read it wrong. I thought it said re requires ten weapon modding it, but it's one, so it's not so wow. Okay, junk and junk. Yeah, well, I guess we'll take it. I really want to get down in that... ...last place there, but... ...doesn't seem like we can. There's a crate up here. Let's... ...get up here and grab that. Ooh, Merc Helmet, Rad Tech Pants, and Rad Tech Helmet. Okay. Nothing up there. Can't get in there. Alright, but we got some armor. So, let's see. Who needs armor? You have pretty decent armor already. Armor plus four, armor plus five, armor plus three. This is armor plus three, armor plus four, armor plus three. You could do with some armor, and you have the strength. Um, do you have the strength? No. It's 
Can you grab that? You already have a full set of armor. You have a full set of armor now. And then you can... Wear this, I guess. That helmet does not look comfortable, does it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess that's everything here. So... I guess... Let's head back to downtown Colorado Springs. Yeah. And we'll see about that nightclub, I guess, in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.